Macintosh computers cannot game. Or maybe they can. This is an iMac, an iMac powered by an NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti, an iMac playing Grand Theft Auto at an ultra-wide 1440p resolution with ultra settings. Macs can game. Kinda. Let's talk about it. eGPUs, or for the less savvy, external graphics card solutions for Windows laptops and desktops, like the Razer Core, are becoming increasingly popular. And while theoretically the Razer Core could support Macintosh computers in the future, no Apple computers, at least at the time of making this video, support Thunderbolt 3, which is what the Razer Core requires. So enter Bisonbox. Think of it as a less pretty yet equally expensive Razer Core that supports Macs, because instead of using Thunderbolt 3, which is, again, not yet out on a Mac, it uses the now antiquated Thunderbolt 2. The Bison Box is a modified Akitio Thunder 2 PCIe box. Now, the Thunder 2 converts standard PCIe accessories like SSDs, video capture cards, etc., to Thunderbolt for use on your modern Mac. However, it doesn't officially support GPUs. That said, with a couple minutes of research, a soldering iron, and an ATX power supply, it's pretty easy to convert the Akitio Thunder 2 to a ghetto Razer Core. Bison Box is designed to be a slightly less ghetto, yet still modified Thunder 2. They CNC out the side of the case for ventilation, they replace the cheap crappy 70 watt Akitio power supply for a beefier 200 watt or 300 watt power supply, and they do all of that for the not so small price of $350. Ouch! So let's pretend for a minute that that $550 price tag is not a barrier to entry for most people. How well, technically speaking, can an external graphics card work on a Mac? Now, my buddy Tomas Villegas has a superb video, which you should definitely check out. And he talks about how Bison Box performs in Mac OS X using applications like Adobe Premiere and other apps that benefit from CUDA acceleration. And I don't want to spoil his video, but the results favor the eGPU quite a bit. But I wanted to talk about gaming. Now, naturally, most modern video games are Windows only, because DirectX. And so I installed a Windows Bootcamp partition onto my Mac Pro, I plugged the GPU in, and what do you know? The machine wouldn't boot. Nothing happened. So I went to Bison's website, and it turns out that there is a long laundry list of compatibility issues. Some machines are unstable in Mac OS X, but they're perfectly fine in Windows. Many machines, like my Mac Pro, would not boot into Windows, but were pretty okay in Mac OS X. And some machines flat out will not work in uh, either OS. In fact, most all recent Mac computers have at least some kind of issue with Bison Box, so it's certainly not well supported or bulletproof. The only Mac that I have access to that seems to have little to no issues is the 2014, not 2015, the 2014 5K iMac. So away I went, installing Windows onto my 5K iMac. And when I booted it, I had an issue. Windows would recognize the graphics card, but it wouldn't actually do anything until I plugged in a secondary display. Because the iMac 5K has discrete graphics, in order to take advantage of the graphics card, you need a second monitor, which is absurd. So ignore the impracticality, enormously high cost, and compatibility issues. We want to answer, can a Mac even game? I mean, I've got a 5K iMac screen, I've got a 1440p screen, it's ridiculous, but does it work? Yes. So I tested two cards, the GTX 1060 and the GTX 980 Ti. Now on GTA 5, with these settings maxed out on 1080p, the GTX 1060 performed a 96 frames per second average on PC, and 82 frames per second average on the Mac. So less performance, but not bad at all. Much better than the unplayable 22 FPS average I was getting with the Mac's internal AMD M295X graphics card. Now, the GTX 980 Ti, however, was a different story. With the same game, uh, same settings, the 980 Ti clocks in at 147 FPS on my PC benchmark test and a mere 88 frames per second on the Mac. So that's only 60% of the total performance I was getting on my computer, my PC. And the same story holds true through all of the benchmarks I did, unfortunately. Check out the results.
So you can technically game on a Mac, but I sure don't recommend it. Not only is Thunderbolt 2 clearly a bottleneck for any mid to high range GPU, but with terrible compatibility issues, uh, janky driver support, many computers that just flat out don't work, and a ridiculously high $550 price tag on top of the GPU price already, you're better off putting $550 into a PC that will both perform better and experience fewer issues. Or Mac fanboys, you can stick to your PlayStation. I guess that works too. If you'd enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a like. If you thought it was crap, that other button seems to work okay too. If you're interested in more tech videos like these, get subscribed to the channel for more awesome content. But most of all, thank you for watching. And as always, stay snazzy.